Asus has delivered the tinker board because you can never have enough uh, single board computers. Um, the 90MB0QY1-M0EAY0, uh, again, the tinker board, um, basically matches the layout of the Raspberry Pi 3, 4K, H.264 video decode support, uh, I believe in hardware. Another uh, write-up by Tim Vary here. Um, 4 by USB 2.0, gigabit Ethernet, which I love, HDMI 2.0, which means it'll support 4K, uh, micro SD, micro USB for power, um, you know, audio outputs, 40-pin uh, 40, 40 header, 28-pin GPIO, uh, camera display attachments, um, spit of solder points, uh, PWM solder points. So it's, it's pretty cool. It's a rock chip RK3288, so it's an ARM Cortex A17 CPU um, and a Mali T764 GPU. So it's got some bump some boost to it even better yet two gigabytes of uh, lpddr3 memory uh 802 11 radios bluetooth 4.0 um so basically twice the ram and in theory uh twice the uh processing power so uh you know not particularly easy to find at this point uh currently up for sale uh on farnell which is a british retailer um, Debian OS and Cody uh, are supposed to be running on it already. I uh, do not have too much more information on how the uh, uh, on what operating system support is on that. And of course, like we run into on almost every uh, single board PC, is that if it's not a Raspberry Pi, and I've got to give some love to uh, I've got to give some love to the crew uh, in Oakland. Um, you know, with the nine dollar PC. Um, you know, where they are building a community, the, the primary advantage of the Raspberry Pi is that there's this huge community with all these distros that are available on that. And the nice thing is, uh, you know, it's one thing to, to be like a Linux guru who lives in the command line and be like, the Odroid is amazing. And in terms of performance, it is. But if you're a relative newbie, it doesn't have a lot of experience with Linux. It can be enormously frustrating to get that uh, to run. So that's the advantage of the Raspberry Pi. I'll be curious to see how the Tinkerboard stacks up in that area. Um, you know, And it's interesting to watch, right? Because the chip PC, the $9 chip PC, started years after the Raspberry Pi. But a big part of their effort is to build a community and lots of projects around their platform. So... Farnell is the link for that. Uh, yeah, 45 pounds. So I want to say about twice the cost for Raspberry Pi 3. I have not found a U.S. retailer for them yet. Hmm. So I'm sure they'll truck them uh, over here and people will tinker away. Wildly. Tinker. Well, the performance is really compelling. So it'll be fun yeah. to see what operating yeah. systems are on there. We, we on, on the podcast last night where we were talking about, first we were talking about all of the things you would have to do to get 4K HDR to work on a PC, like, you know, Cabby Lake and like special you know, uh, Blu-ray player and this, this, and that, all these boxes you had to check to get that working. And then we talked about this, which could potentially do hardware. <laughs> like, minus yeah. the HD, minus the copy protection, uh, it could potentially do all the other things just in this little really cheap device that costs less than any <laughs> of the one things you had to buy to uh, swap out in your desktop PC to make that work. Oh, the cruelty. 